Right, welcome back to the channel everyone. Today it's another Break 90 episode for you. Today, thanks to the team here at the Notleys in Essex, they've invited us down to come and film. So here we go, Break 90 today. It's a par 70 round here, extremely hilly, and the wind is out, one of the elements against us today, but we're gonna do it today. Break 90, hopefully you enjoy it. Let's go. Right, here we go, first hole, par five. It's slight dog leg to the left, downhill, then straight back up the hill, 436 yards. Come on then. I didn't see that one neither. Did you see it? Did you see that one? You saw it? Yeah, ish. I didn't see it at all. Right, it's a bit of a confusion one. Right, so we've got this 267, it's just a knock it down par five. Strike. Lovely, right, into position. All a bit of a chaotic start, but I'll explain in a minute. 110 yards, 110 yards. Come on, wind coming off the left. Just hopefully I don't hook it into this guy's face. Oh, you absolute swine. Right, well that's not a good start. <laughs> Go. Legs. Should be good. Should be stopped. Nice Should be thing. good. Shot. Right, so welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry I haven't really done a proper introduction. Understandably, there's a comp going on today, so things are a little bit slower than normal, but you know, as I say, you, you expect that when there's a competition going on. But we're just grateful that they've allowed us to come and film here anyway, so. I'm gonna break 90 today, come on. Par, par. <laughs> slow, 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 that's really fast. And we got downhill as well, so that was a little bit too fast than what I wanted. We've got to make this now for a bogey start. Bit of a fluster start, as I said, but plenty of holes to come back and fix this problem. Good bogey. Right, move on to the next one. As I said, to be expected, a bit chaotic on the first hole, but we're now on to the next hole. This is when we start getting birdies, let's go. So I've got Cam Man playing alongside me today. I've mic'd him up as well, so we can uh, you let me chew in. <laughs> I spat on my ball when he was taking his putt on the last go, so you would have heard that. And, <laughs> and I got mayo ram in there. <laughs> Woo! So I got Cam mic'd up just because then at least you could hear who's giving banter alongside me. Normally you wouldn't hear it, but this time now you can hear every word. <laughs> it is extremely windy today, so I'm wondering how schools are going to go today. I, I, I don't know what I'm talking Obviously it's break 90, so we're trying to go for a 90. But based on the weather conditions, I don't know whether, even if I maybe hit a 94, 95, I think maybe that's still acceptable today based on the weather being quite strong wind. That's, I mean, that round 90 is where we're aiming, right? Give or take, give a few shots, give or take. <laughs> right, next hole, par three. It's 200, well, 196 yards today. Right up there, you can see the flag. I've got five with an and, it's uphill as well. I don't think I'm gonna be able to tee this up, which means it's gonna have to be off the deck which is, adds another element to it. <laughs> but we'll give it a go. Right, come on. Oh, God, that's hard. Let's just try and connect with one. So all we want to do is try and connect with one, give ourselves an opportunity. Go. Great hit. Go. Don't know if it's long enough, though. That. Where'd it go? It's unbelievable, Jeff. What, is it a good shot? Yeah. Was it? That's green. Was it really? Yeah. Genuinely? Genuinely. I didn't see it. <laughs> just short. We got this. Don't know, I, I don't know how. I don't know if we can move that. I'm just gonna chip an eight iron. Chip an eight iron. It's gonna go right to left, isn't it? Oh, it it done a little. Di oh, it was it was plugged. <laughs> it was plugged. <laughs> Not bad. I didn't realise my ball was plugged. I could have uh, unplugged it, <laughs> but I didn't realise it was plugged, which means it just popped up. So, to try and keep on the bogey train. Bogey? Bogey, I don't know. Terrible. Shocking. <laughs> <laughs> Come 
Oh, Lewis, what is that? I know, I know, terrible. Terrible. Oh, not what we wanted, but to be expected if you plug the ball and don't realise. It's a par five, it goes dog leg to the left, so before you get to the green, there's a bit of a stream as well. 412 yards, I'm gonna play over these two trees here. It's gonna be a long way in, but I just don't wanna go out of bounds to the left, which is my thinking. So straight over these two trees, come on. Oh no, sit down. Mm. That could be long on the wrong side. Where's my tee gone? We found ourselves very, very long. We've got to come back straight over here. Back right over there. Oh, okay. Got a wedge in hand to try and get back into play. Go, out of trees. Oh, I see it as well, oh dear. <laughs> So where it was situated, it was sitting up. It was sitting up on some grass, which meant I slid right underneath it. <laughs> Played like a lob wedge instead of a, like a, a 48. <laughs> so the thought process here, literally just to chip out, give myself a shot. This is our third shot here. We've got, if we get our next shot close to the tee, then we can hopefully walk away with a, a par if we're good enough. I'm gonna have to just wedge it out to the side. There's no point in me going for it and being too brave, because that's stupid. So just a little clip. Little seven iron clip. It's a shame, really, but that's just the way golf goes. That's it, that'll do. Position gives myself next shot in, should hopefully be about 130 ish yards. Good it, please, good it. Oh, he's come out of it, it's slicey. Safe shot. It's okay, it just means now we've got to chip up chip up close. I mean, we could do that worldy chip like we did on the last, if you saw the last video, which I'm sure you have, you'll see our worldy chipping for a par. Let's try and do that again, shall we? Just pop it up. It's gonna slope from right to left from my perspective. Bit of a mud ball. <laughs> that grass killed it. <laughs> Got a lot, a lot of work to do from there. <laughs> That was nearly a bogey save. That was so close to a bogey save. Oh. I feel bad because if that was me, it would have gone in. <laughs> right, next hole. 173 yards uphill. It's a long way for me, to be honest. I'm just not very big at hitting. Come on. Wind's picked up just as I'm striking, lovely. Go. Oh, I saw it down on the grass over there. Safe. Ah, oh, nightmare, nightmare. Go, that's so weak. Oh, that is so out of order. Oh, I can only have... It didn't touch it. <laughs> it, it did, did or didn't? It did not touch my back. Didn't. <laughs> Shot. Go a little bit more. Okay, come on. Bogey save. Right, remove the flag. Bogey part. <laughs> remove the flag. <laughs> Please. Ah. Come on. Golf days with manners. <laughs> oh, horrific. Absolutely terrible. Is it going to be one of those days when putting is awful today? When's it not? <laughs> right, next hole is par four. 380 yards, it's uphill. It's really up here, so it's going to play a lot longer. Um, scoring is not fantastic, but listen, the point is, we are trying Seven to break 90, and we still can do that. What are you saying? Seven over through four. <laughs> Pass from here on out. That's it, mate. That's what we're doing. Mr. Motivator. <laughs> no. No. That's it. Just in front of it. Ooh. That's thought, all right. I thought just, you might have made it. Just in front of the bunker. Now, I'm not, I'm not a big hitter. 240, that's probably about my limit. <laughs> Great shot. Thank you. <laughs> 135 yards left. I still think a nine iron's the good club. I think it is. Oh, thinned it. 
absolutely thin. Thin me up, thin Not me good. Up top, baby, when you let me down. Bit of a nightmare. I just hit that shot and I didn't press record. Thanks, Zach. <laughs> anyway, I hit a wedge shot. It was 66 yards out uphill and uh, I'm on the green. I'll show you now as I'm walking up to it. But yeah, I, for, I don't know why. I've just forgot to press the button for record. So you didn't see that large wedge shot, but as I pan around now, they're walking up the green. He's lying. You should see it. He's lying. There you go. Oh, cam's closer. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on. I have to hand it to Notley's. The greens aren't bad today. They're quality, aren't they? Huh? They're nice, they're nice. You like them? Come on. Oh, you sod. I think I hit it too hard that didn't catch the break, did it? Right, bogey. I mean, it's not a double, but it's not ideal, is it? <laughs> Next hole, 307 yards, par four. It's pretty straight. You've got out of bounds to the left-hand side, so you just ideally don't want to go left. Bailing out to the right is key. So, let's get one going. Come on. Come on. Oh, bailed out to the right. That's all right, though. Toey one. Really poor, barely one. Past that tree? Or is it just in front of the tree? It's got about 20 yards past the tree, isn't it? I don't know, has it? Yeah. Well, it was, was not a very good strike, but we don't mind. <laughs> we're not here for good golf, we're here for fun golf. Ah, exactly right. About Boy, 108 yeah, yards yeah. left to go. It's, uh, yeah, wind straight into our face. Uh, we're off at the back of us, so it's going to be a wedge, isn't it? It's going to be just a wedge. You've got a bunker just in front of the green as well. Should be good. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, that looks pretty close. It looks close. Come on. See, par train started now. <laughs> Here comes the par train. Birdie putt. Never birdie leave putt. a birdie. Huh? Never leave a birdie. Short. Don't f it up. <laughs> Come on, pretty straight for the birdie. Oh, said it. Never up, never in. Said it. It's all right. We steadied the shit with the par. Said it twice. <laughs> A par will do, for now, for now. Let's go. Great par. Par three, 156 yards, wind into face, but we're going for a seven iron. You've got bunkers round greenside on the right hand side. But I don't see that being an issue, to be honest. Oh, and that's that. It's got about 100 yards. It's got about 100 yards, maybe pin eye, I don't know, but it's pin literally. Eye. Well, yeah, that's not far off being pin eye. It's just, all right, 100 yards. <laughs> right, so I'm not particularly playing too well at the moment, which is annoying, but we're still in this. Got a lob wedge in hand. Just going to throw it up because it's slightly down. There's not really much else I could do with this play. It's great. Oh. Oh, just awful, absolutely terrible, isn't it? <laughs> Just terrible. <laughs> Much better. Run out. Go, go, go. Gain. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Two videos in a row. Two videos in a row I've done chickens. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> wow. What a shot. What a pass, eh? <laughs> Pick my ball out. Pick my ball out. Let's go. Part it. <laughs> Par four. It's a dog leg right up the hill, round the corner. It's quite a difficult one. Uh, 395 yards to play in. Now, I've got to hopefully try and get a good drive off. Clear that water. That's what we're going to try and do. Oh. 
I've had to take a drop, which is really irritating. But hey, that's what happens, isn't it? Let's let's go. Beauty. Oh, <laughs> that was a strike. I did not see it. It'll be left side of the green, but it's up there. Oh, shot. <laughs> so I hit a really bad tee shot, which we all saw, but I took a drop from down there, which meant I was hitting my third shot then, and I'm up there with my five wood. Good old five wood coming up clutch again. I have to say, that's one of my best five wood shots I've ever had to do under pressure in the rough. Extremely happy with that. Okay, fourth shot now. If we can try and get it close, walk over bogey, I think that'd be great for the position we would find ourselves in originally. Go. Go. Oh. oh, you just, just hit a poor shot. I can't, I can't even give any excuse. Poor. Didn't hit it hard enough. Terrible. Come round. Oh, we still got work to do. Just get it straight on line. Oh, it literally trickled past by a couple of mil. Seven, eight. <laughs> <laughs> Just blob city. Right, next hole, it's the ninth hole. We aren't gonna to dwell too much, as I said before in previous vlogs. Don't dwell on it, just move on from it, which is what we're gonna do. Next hole, ninth hole, par four, 285 yards. Wind's coming off the left-hand side. It's pretty straight, this, this hole, there's not much to it. Just pretty straight. So if I just knock one down there, second shot onto the green, two putt par, we'll take that. That'll do, it's just the wind's gonna catch it, but I tell you what, I'm not going to complain too much about that. That will do. That will do? What do you mean that will do? That was beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> that will do. Look at that. That will do. <laughs> that will <laughs> do, donkey. Jesus. I Considering the wind a, is right in the into our face, oh, sorry. I'm actually over the moon. I was talking the whole way through that. Where are you? Yeah. That's all right. We'll just say it again. We were talking. Just saying, considering the wind is right into our face, I'm more than happy with that. I didn't expect it to go this far, so we've only got 80 yards left. It's only about 10 yards behind me, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bank will feel that one. Whoo! That's it, pin eye. Yes! <whistles> Come on! Didn't see it. Oh, the wind. The wind. Oh yeah, that's it. Oh. Just on the edge. Just on the edge. Birdie putt. What? What do you mean? That must have been my par then. I don't know, I don't know what you did. You did one, two, three, four, five. I love you, right, yeah. <laughs> right, this is birdie putt. As Cam said before. Don't leave it short. It's downhill though. Not, not to, much. Not to put pressure on, but. Come on, birdie putt. Never Come up, on. never in. Come Let on. me begin. <laughs> oh, go, go, go. <gasps> you see that? Got a knee wobbler again. <laughs> a knee wobbler. Excellent, right, we got a par. It's a shame, because a birdie would have been lovely, just lipped it slightly, but hey, par's it's not a par. It's not a shame, it is an absolute wonderful hole. Huh? It is a wonderful hole, par. It's not a shame, it's a wonderful hole. <laughs> there, there you go. <laughs> it's definitely been an up and down round so far, and it front nine, like an absolute roller coaster. We're 11 over through nine, right? There's been mental, mental holes. Some chipping, worldy chipping, blow up holes, 
and just some steady go. It's a real crazy front nine, but let's try and steady the ship again, back nine. As I say, 11 over through nine. I'm, I'm not too dishappy about that because I know that there's plenty of time for me to pull it back and hit a few pars and then we're actually on track again. So come on. This is easily parable. It should be, shouldn't it? Tenth pole, par four, 300 yards. Just gotta get it in play again. Get it in play again. Toey, but it should be all right. Over there, there's not really much out over there. Should be okay. I know over there, there's not much trouble over there. It's gonna be just maybe blocked out from the green. Uh, but yeah, no, that's all right, we'll take that. Not too bad. It was slightly right, but again, slightly right. We're only here. We've got 86 yards left to go, that's it. So again, same kind of wedge shot as I did before, that feely wedge. That's all it is, feely wedge. That's what I mean, the, the golf ability is there, it just doesn't always turn up, does it? Right, we'll leave Cam to play with pheasants. <laughs> right, come on, uphill, 91 yards. Just a good, solid wedge. Just a good one. Beautiful. That should be good. That's it. That should, I mean, it bounced quite a lot. I'm surprised how much it did bounce, but it should be good. So I'm not sure where mine pitched. I'm surprised it did overrun. It overrun went up here, but not sure where that would have pitched. Well, it's a rock hard green, so. So it's just, just kind of carried on, isn't it? Right, get it on the green, close for a putt par, right? Par, par. So realistically, I think the safest bet, although it's probably not the best, is to putt it. I think realistically, that's just a smart move. What, out of that? Do you not think? You can barely see the ball. Do you, would, you not, would you not putt that? No way. What would you do? No chance. What would you do? The camera's got to be able to pick that up. That, you can't even see the ball. So what are you doing? Are you eight ironing? 56. Oh, shut up. What? Literally just tapping it and it'll... Or even your 48. Just get it over that and it'll run down. So aim for where my ma ball is. Right. Have faith. Because you got to have faith. George Michael said that. Right, Same okay. shot as your par. Yeah. I'd just aim for my ball and just literally just tap it so you went to land like here, didn't you? Yeah, maybe a little bit more. I, I get what you mean. Right shot, I just didn't execute very well. But you, ne you never hit it, so. Huh? You never, you never hit that before, have you? No, so yeah, I didn't really know what I was but, doing, but I get what you mean. It was such the better shot, we can get over all that crap. It takes the risk of all the crap out of the way. Yeah. What's that for? What was, your, what was yours for? Par. Was it? Yeah. No, it weren't. <laughs> that weren't a par. No, it was a bogey. Yeah. Just wanted to look good. <laughs> you look amazing. <laughs> right, this is for par. Come on. Come on! Thank you, sir. Yes! Clutch up par, let's go! Right, 11th hole, par four. Pretty straight, it's a bit wayward up and down as you can see, but it's 333 yards. We're now starting to build a bit of momentum. Let's just carry on that momentum. We're, we've got the red flag right at the distance, that's what I'm gonna go for, which is basically in line with this red tee box. Come on. Stay there, that should be all right. It's, I know it's slightly right, but it should be okay. There's more space down on that right hand side than you actually think. So I think that's safe. Ah. Right, just walking up to my ball now. When I say I've got space, <laughs> I didn't give myself much space. That's what we're working with now. <laughs> I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and hit this shot, yeah. I'm I'm not gonna be silly and go for it, but it's annoying, I'm blocked out. I've just got to chip to the side. Chip to the side, give myself a shot. I mean you could have done yourself better than that, Lou. That was awful. But we are out, at least we've got a shot now. <laughs> oh, oh, that is thin. And is it gonna run up? No, it isn't gonna run up. That was terrible. Terrible shot. <laughs> Just get it close. Now run on. Now run on. Now come round. Oh beautiful. Good shot. Come on, Absolutely come on. Lovely. 
Right, so just walking up the green now. So look, tell you what, got to be happy with that. Got to tap that in though. <laughs> there we go. Right, it's a bogey, but to be honest, we had to lose a shot because we had to chip out from the trees down there. So take that, bogey, let's go. 12th hole, it's par four, it's a slight deviation to the right. I can't, I don't suppose you call it a dog leg. If anything, it's a slight turn in the, in the fairway, but it's playing 360 yards. You've got aim at that pin, which you won't be able to see on the camera, but it's straight, gives you a second shot over a little bush and stream. Oh, he's absolutely, I've literally drop kicked that. It's gonna be all right, but I literally drop kicked it, hit the floor, bounced off. <laughs> <laughs> Great average golf drive, yes. So we've got a long way in still, after my drop kick drive. <laughs> a long way in. 200 yards, time for five wood again. Stay. I heard, did you hear a tree? No. I think it could be all right. I can't remember what's over that side. I've just. I've just slightly pulled that to the right, which is not a bad thing. I just can't remember what's over there. Beauty. Beauty. Excellency, love this firewood. <laughs> so I should find my first ball. As I say, it went right, but I don't think there's much danger over there. Apart from a bunker, I don't think there's much else because it didn't snake off to the right. It wasn't a slice. I just pushed it. So I should find the first one, but the second one was, well, that was a beautiful strike. It's just off the bank on the left-hand side of the green. It's pin eye, it's just left side of the bank, which is a lovely strike from 200 yards. But hopefully I'll find my first one. So luckily we found the first ball. Found the first one, thanks to Cam's eyes. Cam found it, but equally my, my, my other provisional was a great shot anyway. So I mean, I love my five wood. My five wood is superb. It just gets me my 200 yards, I love it. Right, what do we play here? Just a little chippy 56, I think. Come on. Oh, it just got killed in the bank. It's on the green, but it's just got killed on the bank. Shame. <laughs> How could order. you do that to me? That is out of order. How did it do that to me? Can we just say I got it? <laughs> no, mate, the camera never lies. <laughs> Bogey. Oh, let's go. Wind into face, really hard one, this one. 190 yards, par three. I'm not reaching, but I think I'm just going to try and hit a safe one somewhere around there and just chip on. I'm playing some really crap iron it's, golf at the it, moment. It's findable. Right, I've got no choice. I've got to go to the left. I can't go up. So, just going to chip out here. Give myself a look at the green. So deflating, isn't it? That's got to be good, isn't it? Yeah. Excellent. Right, we're on the green, but it's again, I'm, I'm now two putting for a bogey, and I, at best. Just, just constantly, just little wiggle past the hole. Wiggle past. Wiggle past, double bogey. We love that, don't we? Doubles. We love a double. <laughs> Another deflating hole. <laughs> we do love a deflation. So this is the 14th par four, 380 yards. It's pretty straight again. Just knock one down there. That's all we've got to do. Oh, how deflating. My irons just aren't working at the moment and I don't know why. Come on. Stay, should be okay. Oh. Oh. What do you reckon? You'll find it. You reckon? We've had to take a drop. We've still got 180 yards left to go. It's gone somewhere in here and we just can't see it. It just might have just gone lost in the swamp. So 108 yards, I'm just going to try and hit one. I'm trying to hit an iron today, that's what I'm trying to do. That's all I'm interested in doing, is hitting an iron. And hitting it well.
dragged it. <laughs> That's gone as well. We're, we're doing well on this hole. This is a blow up hole. Cue the music. That's a better strike, Lewis. That's better. Yeah. Oh, it's just dropped in the bunker, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's a better strike. Okay. I've, I don't care about the score at the moment. It's about getting the strike back. That was a good strike. So, as I mentioned, the last hole really deflated me and upset me a bit because I was, up to this point, hitting my irons quite well, wasn't I? Like on other vlogs. On other break 90s, I've been hitting my irons well. But then I ended up hitting that one really bad, that nine, uh, that par three. Just really hit a terrible iron, and I haven't hit them very well at all today. So then, even though I've had a blow up and that was my fifth shot there. No. The fact that I got a nice strike off from a dodgy lie. No. So that's actually. Alan, 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 Al, Alan. Made me feel better, <laughs> as opposed to the score. <laughs> I so I'm actually more ball. happy now that I hit a good strike than regardless of the score. Cam's found my other ball. Proper YouTube gold this is. Now this is where Cam found my ball, which meant the shot I've just played, which was my fifth because of a penalty, doesn't actually count now, which is nice, because this ball is still in play, which means this was penalty three. So this is my fourth shot. Now if I hit this out, get it out, then my fifth shot, which I've just taken, I could get on the green closer to the pin. So let's just try and get it out. If I can get it out, then we're, we're okay. Come on. It's out. It's out. Now we've got a shot at the green. Come on. Come on. Still faith. Faith. Thin it. Sit down. Oh, you idiot. What an idiot. That is so unlucky. Now release out. Oh. It's going well, this is. Good shot. Oh. Left it short again. In for the eight. Oh, wow, this is good golf. Glad you're sticking around. 112. Very disappointed, I must say, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very disappointed. I thought I was improving, but it seems to have gone backwards. Come on then. Dragged it left, didn't even make it. Short, crap, terrible. Safe. <laughs> Safe. Just wet, just awful, just Take me home. Zach, I'm taking your job, by the way. Did you see that camera work? <laughs> Good pace. Use the whole cup. Use the whole cup. I'm using crap balls now, because I've lost all my golf balls. All of them, gone. Right, next hole, just to add more pain to this game, it started to rain. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you got a lap. Four, four, uh, par four, pretty straight. Let's go. No, slice. That's well in play. Right, you can see it. Oh, good gosh. <laughs> We've got 180 yards left to go, but I'm, just going to hit my 7-iron at this stage because I feel like I can rely on the 7-iron. Hopefully we get a bit of luck. <laughs> wow! Go. Slightly draggy. Oh, it might be on just on the edge of the green, just maybe on the, on the left side it looks like. <laughs> Up to some terrible, terrible goal. <laughs> Right, not a bad eight iron in the end. I did find the green. We just got this now. Unfortunately, it's for the bogey. It's well, actually for the par, not par. the bogey. Two putt bogey. Just a little bit gutted. 
that blow up hole, because it means that brake nightly seems to be over. Pa birdie birdie, you're back in, mate. Come on. Is that what you reckon? Yeah. Solid. Right, we've got a bogey, which again is not ideal, but hey, that's where we're at at the moment, aren't we? <laughs> I think what you'll find currently at the, I mean, today seems to be a bit of a, a one-off because normally, as you've seen from previous vlogs, the strike, the iron strike's been pretty good. Today, something just hasn't been right today with my iron striking. Been a bit off, which has been a bit disappointing, a bit, a bit deflating. So yeah, it's, I mean, the score, the score literally sums it up, doesn't it? We've been in places we've been unlucky, in places we've just had blow-ups. Uh, we are now 22 over par, I believe. Yeah, 22 over par. So we're sitting on what? Is it 92? Ask me what I am. Huh? Ask me what I am. I don't want to. Don't want to ask what you are. <laughs> but I think, yeah, the break 90, I think, unless we do some worldies, I don't think it's going to happen. But we'll grind it out. Last two holes, let's go. Right, 17th hole, par four, 280 yards. Most cases I'd probably take my five wood, but at this stage we are, we've got to do some attacking now to try and break down. So if we can try and get there and make a birdie, that's a good start, isn't it? <laughs> good start. Right, come on then. See what we got, Lewis. Oh. I mean, that was on a beautiful line. It just didn't go high enough. Might have made it through. That's so good. I think that sums up my day. That was such a lovely strike. It just wasn't high enough to get over that tree for once. <laughs> right, 165 yards in, long way to go still. Ricocheted off the tree, which is ideal because next, the other side is uh, farmland. <laughs> right, come on, please. Seven iron. Yes. Go. Oh, come up short, but at least I struck it, right? That was, I wanted to strike the ball properly today, so at least I got a strike on it. Just a little wedge up. Little wedge up. Come on. Like that. Now roll out. Release out. Didn't, didn't release. Didn't release. Oh. Kick straight off as soon as you hit that, didn't it? I thought it was going to come back round, but it obviously didn't. Obviously. <laughs> right. Not getting for another bogey. See, bogey golf wouldn't be bad. I'd, pay, I'd be happy with bogey golf, but it's the blow ups that screws me up, isn't it? 18th hole, ladies and gentlemen. I apologise, there was a blow up in the middle to end of the round, which is very disappointing because it just. It just screws with your head, doesn't it? And you play, you think you're playing well and you think you're playing catch up, which I was doing with pars. And then you blow up. Unbelievable. Anyway, we still love this game. I'll still be coming out next week anyway, wouldn't I? <laughs> still put myself through it all over again. 18th hole, par five, slight dog leg right up the hill. A bit of water in the way, but I don't think I'm long enough. So I'm just going to go for the drive. Oh, I see it. Slightly left, it's gonna be on the left side. Should be safe. Should be all right, shouldn't it? Should be okay. Wet, rainy day. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so you're not gonna see it down, but it's just get it up there is the aim. Let's go. Oh, popped up. Yeah, it's okay, it hit the tree. <laughs> hit the tree and popped up. <laughs> I can't even see where the green is. Oh, I can see the flag, there it is. You're not gonna see it down. Come on then. That's dragged left into water, innit? Might be all right. Might be all right. I saw it bounce, but then I didn't see it after that. Travel. Oh, I thought that was enough. I thought it was enough. Oh, this is just not my day. But that's nice. Oh, stop, 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 stop. 
never mind. For the bogey, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you stick around to the end because we're gonna see how it affects my handicap uh, and see if it's gone up, which we expect it to, but this is not the end of the world because it's something to work on for the summer. So close. There we go. Right, unfortunately, that's a double. Thank you very much. That's a double. Ladies, let's get inside and see what's happened to my handicap, but not ideal, is it? Never mind. One of those days. See you in a second. Okay, so we're back at home after what was an up and down round. I'm going to keep this short and sweet because I've already put you through enough pain and suffering through the round. Oh, there was that stage during that, that blow up hole and it just got so deflating. I thought I was doing really well. And then the iron play just wasn't working out. It's just such a shame. But anyway, since then I've been working hard at the range, working on things and strike has reappeared. Believe it or not, strike has reappeared. So I'm gonna keep this short and sweet just for people who'd be interested to see what my handicap is sitting at now. So let's go straight into that, let's dive straight in. Okay, so looking at it here, so as you saw, I counted wrong. Um, and I put down 94, it was actually a 93. So I done myself out of a shot. It did go up though, our handicap did go up. And the handicap went from 17.3, which I was sitting on, up to 17.5. I know, not too bad. Um, definitely feel, definitely feel over the past month or so that I have been playing that definitely, definitely chances and opportunities to lower that handicap down from 17. I should like to think by the end of this year to get down close to 14 maybe. I think that's a good target to aim for. And then if we get lower then great, but I think we should definitely be aiming for around that. Um, so there we go. 17.5 is my new handicap. Thank you so much for everyone who watched, everyone that's supported so far. Amazing that we've hit 2,000 subscribers now. Big love to all of you. Please go follow on Instagram if you haven't done so already. Lewis Golf Days, try and build that up as well. But thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers, all the love and support that you're showing. Let's go straight into the next one, break 90. Big love to you. Thanks so much for watching.